Very good Thank question. You for your question. Answer. Absolutely. And that was an important one, which I'm sure a lot of people have experienced. I've experienced that myself. So let's make that very clear. And yes, the company, Brother Orrell, uh, with this company, definitely did the exact thing that he's saying. So I, I am one of those clients. I just want y'all to know. <laughs> so again, I'm sharing with you my personal uh, solution and company that I personally have benefited from. That's the only reason why I'm, I make sure to do this again is because there are a lot of people that I know out here who, who have credit companies or people that they work with on that and they don't share it with the people. Now, that is something that I, I said, all right, I don't like that, but I personally benefited. So what he said is something that's very serious. And uh, yeah, credit collection companies or, or debt collection companies, they're, they're really gangsters. They're third party gangsters. <laughs> right, so, exactly. that, so those are great yeah. words. Yeah, great sir, words, so, brother. <laughs> some of you have probably had parking tickets dental collections, some of you have other tickets, dental collections, and they blow your phone up. That's their job. They're hired to do that, you know, but it's it's um, it's um a real slick way of how they were set up in the first place. So, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I also want to answer this, that many people don't know, but most collection agencies, they violate the Fair Credit Reporting Act as well as, well as the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act all the time. As an example, um, they're not to, they're actually not supposed to call you after a certain time period, right? Mm -hmm. So after business hours are over, they're not supposed to call you. Only during business hours. Um, on weekends, they're not supposed to call you to try to collect the debt. They're not supposed to threaten mm -hmm. you. They're not supposed to say that, you know, that if you don't pay it, that you will receive a lawsuit. All of these different things you can actually sue them for. You can sue them for violating and collect money from them. And quite frankly, if you do try to sue them, and I wouldn't recommend because you need the professionals such as us. Um, and we don't always go that route, but I'm letting you know what the possibilities are. When, when, and if you do sue them, what happens is a lot of times they'll just, for one, they won't try to collect the debt. And for two, after that occurs, you know, we can just get them to remove it from your credit report because they obviously don't want to be sued because they know that they're in violation and we know. And uh, mm -hmm. they know that we know that they, that we know. So, mm -hmm. um, just, you know, be very, very cautious and be very mindful of these collection agencies because they'll try to trick you into paying them. They will try to lie to you. They'll try to say, um, this is one of the, these are actually one of the, uh, this is one of the things that they will try to do to get you to pay it. They'll say, they'll call you up and they'll say that you owe a thousand dollars. Okay. Now, after they say that you owe a thousand dollars, they'll say, um, well, and you ask them, Many people, they do know what's called the pay for deletion. They'll So you'll ask them, well, if I pay it, will you delete it from my credit report? And before that, you'll say, well, yeah, the debt is mine, um, but I would like to pay it. However, I need, I need it deleted from my credit report. The first thing is never admit that the debt belongs to you, okay? So if they're blowing your phone up and they're trying to get you to pay a debt, don't admit that it you know, that it belongs to you. What we need them to do is to provide proof that it belongs to you, which they can't do based on how we dispute. The wording has to be right. So don't think that you just go out and do it on your own. Uh, you, It's possible that you can do it on your own, but when you have experts who can do it for you, it's a lot easier to get it done, right? Mm -hmm. And so what they would do is they would say, uh, well, yes, it could be, it's going to be deleted from your credit report um, it's going to be removed. Uh, can you pay it now? You pay over the phone. It's never moved. You try to call them and they quite frankly don't want to hear from you because guess what? They've already collected their money, right? It may show a zero balance and it may also show that the in the comment section in your credit report was charged off, now paid in full or now settled for debt, uh, settled for less than the original debt. But it still remain in your in the collection category. So even if you pay, remember this, you all, even if you pay a collection account, if it's on your credit report, even with a zero balance, it's still considered a collection account or charge off account, which means that your scores aren't really going to increase. You've lost money, but your scores aren't really going to increase because it's still showing as a negative account. So now you've paid the debt and it happens. And you're trying to call them to get it removed, but they're not budging because they made their money. Well, 
we have ways to get it removed for you after you've paid it. Now, I know that a lot of people, you may have that question, can you get it removed? I haven't seen that. Quite, well, I haven't, you know, I'm, we're going down the list one by one, but I haven't seen that uh, from the top of the list going down. But to answer that question, just in case if someone uh, posed it, that yes, we can get it removed even after you have paid it, but we need additional information as it pertains to, you know, when you paid it, the date, et cetera. We need more, more information. And then once we can delve into it, then we can figure out and find a solution to help you get it removed. It's a very good analysis and a very, very thorough, honest analysis. Uh, again, just so some of you know, I personally have gone through uh, a similar circumstance with one of those things that were reporting on my credit. All right. Um, and it was crazy because I had no idea that it was still reporting on my credit, but they were reporting it as if it was active and all of that. And they just kept reporting and, um, you know, going through this, you know, brother or in the company, you know, got on the phone with them. They gave us the run around, call this number, call that number, call this number. If you remember, it, it was about three hours. Three hours. Okay. It was about three hours in between roughly eight or nine numbers that we were mm -hmm. sent between to call over and over again. Um, and this is why you need professionals to help you with this kind of stuff. If, if you don't know how this works, if you don't know this, this arena, you, you need that. It's just very simple. I needed that. All right. Personally, I could just say that. And I'm, I'm very thankful that I invested in that. So I'm going to make sure to put the website here while we go into the next question. I'm going to put the website here again. You also have the option aside from the packages dealing with your personal credit, if you were working on that, or you have the option dealing with business credit. That's another area that they're very well uh, established in as it pertains to being an expert in is dealing with business, the business side or personal. Uh, you can also just choose the option for one-on-ones as we're doing like this, where you get your private one-on-one -on -one session and assessment to look over your stuff first. Uh, and that's what I love about this company too, is you're going to get an honest response. So <laughs> you're going to yes, get an honest response on what, what's dealing with, you know, your whole credit, what it looks like the potential as far as how long it will take to get to a certain mm -hmm. level mm -hmm. uh, and all of that. But it, it, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. So when I did mine, they, they came back with the assessment, what it looks like, what I'm going to have to do, how long it's going to take to get to this credit score, if that's my goal, et cetera. So make sure you click the website and look at that. Now, next question here. I just got my car repossessed a few months ago. I had a co-signer, my ex. Can this be fixed? Or what do you suggest may be the next step? Yeah, co-signers. Well, okay. yes. Well, we need additional information um, as it relates to that. Sometimes co-signers, some, you know, sometimes co-signers can be, you know, relatives. It can be spouses, et cetera. So I would, I would definitely need more information about this particular account only because, I, you know, I, I can't just, it's not like a one size fit all type of situation. And I just lost a question um, in the thread, but um, but in terms of to answer your question, yes, anything can be removed, but it's about how we're going to get it removed because there's different strategies to it. So anytime that I'm speaking to clients, I have to find out more information about this particular debt, right? So what happened? What's the history behind it? Once I can get more intel, then from there, we can figure out and find a solution to be able to help you. Um, so I would love to hear more about that. Repossessions are actually one of the more detrimental um, derogatory items that are on your credit report, which is actually right next to bankruptcies. So um, repossessions um, are second in line next to bankruptcies because generally speaking, car loans are a much, you know, they offer more uh, debt, really, really debt, but credit to be able to offer you car loans. And so we need to get that removed because obviously repossessions, once you get a repossession, and I'm not trying to scare you, but it makes everything hard. It, it literally makes everything hard. Um, you can't get anything with the repossession on your credit report. They won't offer you anything until that particular repossession is resolved. So please sign up uh, for our services, and I would love to speak with you one-on-one -on -one and find out how, how we can get that repossession removed from your credit report, and we'll be able to assist you. Absolutely. Very good question and answer. Uh, with this, this question goes right to the next, uh, to what you were saying. Is it true that you can dispute certain reports? Yes, sir. Uh, let's see. Where is that particular? Is that Amber. Amber. Uh, okay. 
right there. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Let's see that we can dispute certain reports. Okay, Amber. So I would need more information about that particular question because um, I'm not necessarily sure what you're referring to when you say reports. If you're referring to a credit report. Um, so if you can just pose your question and we'll be able to answer it. But I do, do need you to elaborate on what you mean by the word report and then I'll be able to answer that accordingly. Perfect. Next question. Can you break down CPNs and if they are useful? That's uh, not so. Yes. So that, that's absolutely not. We don't deal with those um, whatsoever. I don't even I get clients asking me about uh, CPNs. You know, that's absolutely not. We, we don't, you know, create new uh, socials for people. We don't do that um, because we don't engage in any illegal activity or, or even if it's semi illegal, we don't do it. Um, it's not something that that we offer and we don't in, engage in that. Real it's a very simple, touchy subject, but yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Real simple. Make that very clear. <laughs> Stay legit. Let's see. Next question. How do we deal with evictions and judgment from landlords on our credit report? It's keeping people from getting apartments and houses. Yeah, that's a big one. Yes. 